Today, we will talk about the effective yield. The effective yield is the return on a bond that has its interest payments reinvested at the same rate by the bondholder. It's the total yield an investor receives, taking into account the power of compounding on investment returns. Effective yield is a measure of the coupon rate on a bond and is calculated by dividing the coupon payments by the current market value of the bond. It's one way that bondholders can measure their yields on bonds and takes into account the reinvestment of coupon payments at the same interest rate. The yield to maturity is the rate of return earned on a bond held until maturity. To compare the effective yield to YTM, the YTM must be converted to an effective annual yield. If YTM is greater than the effective yield, the bond is trading at a discount to par, and if YTM is less than the effective yield, the bond is selling at a premium. For example, if an investor holds a bond with a 5% coupon paid semi-annually, his effective yield will be greater than the coupon or current yield due to the effect of compounding. Reinvesting the coupon payments produces a higher yield because interest is earned on the interest payments. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The effective yield is calculated as the bond's coupon payments divided by the bond's current market value. 2. Effective yield assumes coupon payments are reinvested, resulting in a higher yield than the nominal, stated coupon, yield. 3. To compare a bond's effective yield and its yield to maturity, the effective yield must be converted to an effective annual yield. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.